bad. <laughs> but some people actually, they even dress to upset people. Really. You know, like the, you know, the punk movement, remember the punks? Yeah, they were dressed particular to try and really upset and get you angry and upset. And I remember this story about, I think the subway in New York, there was, you know, this old man sitting opposite one of these punks. You know, just spiky hair, about 20 different col colours, and just razor blades, you know, coming out of, coming from his ears. Uh, the, his clothes were just, you know, really multicoloured, just, you know, really you need a pair of sunglasses to look at him. And there were just piercings all over his face. And then there's a guy opposite him, you know, just, you can't help, he's right in front, you have to look at him. And so the punk shouted out, what are you looking at, old man? And I said, I oh, just, you know, just you. Didn't you ever do anything, you know, a bit sort of outrageous when you were young? Oh, yes, yeah, I did. When I was in the Navy, I had sex with a parrot. I thought you might be my son. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Please don't go and write to the Buddhist Society and complain. It's only a joke, okay? I, and I don't really hate parrots. <laughs> but anyways, sometimes people <laughs> do outrageous things just to upset people. And, but, you know, after a while you just, you know, don't worry what other people think of you. And that's usually in your middle age. And then you finally find out, and I hope you find this out earlier like I did. When you're young, you worry what other people think of you. Middle age, you don't care what other people think of you. In your older years, you finally figure out that people weren't thinking about you anyway. So that means you just do whatever you like and just forget about what other people say about you. And it's also when people